Today on the channel, who's the boss? Well, it's not Tony Danza. It's the Boss Fights Popeye Classics Collection with Castor Oil and Bluto. The spirit of the Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another Popeyes Classics unboxing and review and today we've got castor oil we've got Bluto but for all your Popeye needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up DJC collectibles use discount code 8 off DJC to save yourself 8% gotta get a deal out there and we continue on with the Popeye collection with a little blue dough, with a little castor oil, check out Popeye and Olive Oil on the channel if you might have missed that one. And while you're at it, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. But of course, these come to us via Boss Fight Studios. And Boss Fight usually for me means wrestling figures. But here we are today with some Popeye flavor. Uh, love Popeye back in the day. I watched Popeye from like the 80s cartoons. He, he had a resurgence in the 80s, I believe. A little bit more modern compared to the old black and white editions that maybe your grandparents watched. Who knows, depending on your age. Uh, but Popeye, definitely an all-time classic. With two classic characters, I would say Bluto. Everybody pretty much knows Bluto from his fights with Popeye. The main antagonist, always trying to steal olive oil away and stuff like that. But then we do have Castor Oil here. And it took me a while to remember Castor Oil. I don't think the incarnation I really knew and loved in the 80s had Castor Oil in it. We had Wimpy with his hamburgers, things like that. And Wimpy was in the old days as well. But Castor Oil is one I really didn't really remember so much. But Eugene the Jeep, I definitely remember. Uh, but Castor Oil, of course, is going to be Olive Oil's brother. And I didn't think that through that at first. I'm like, Castor Oil, what a weird name that is. Then I realized, oh, Olive Oil, Castor Oil, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. But we're going to do this like we do all the other unboxings here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So let's start with old Castor Oil first. Probably the deepest cut in the four-pack set here, I would have to imagine. Uh, but an interesting one. A smaller character, but we do get some friends with him and we'll talk about those here in a second but you get some good graphics there Popeye uh, of course all that the nice yellow packaging really bright very light packaging as you can imagine Popeye on the side I love how it wraps around on the package there very very cool a little glamour shot on the side there and then on the back you get the cross cell you see some of the accessories you got the big write-up from Popeye's journal having a lot of fun reading those it's a, a little interesting Popeye's uh, the way he writes things uh, very interesting here but let's bow but let's dive in here. Let's see what's going on. You got a lot of warnings, UPCs on the bottom as well. Uh, but very interesting. He does come with Bernice the Wiffle Hen and Eugene the Jeep. Now, if a lot of people remember the Jeep, obviously the motor vehicle Jeep. A big fan of Jeeps. At one time, I owned 14 Jeeps. Can you believe that? Absolute maniac. Right now, I own three Jeeps. I think that's where it's probably going to stay. But uh, Jeeps, my all-time favorite vehicle. My favorite vehicle of all time, the old-school Jeep Wagoneer. You've seen in some of my videos. Love riding in style in the Wagoneer. Uh, but Eugene the Jeep is where they got the name from Jeep, from the old Popeye cartoon. So the more you know kids the more you know a page from Popeye's journal chapter one castor oil is olive oil's nutty big brother and he is my friend I says he is castor always has some crazy scheme what he's cooking up he's been an inventor a boxing manager and even a private investigator <laughs> but the best scheme of them all was when he took Bernice the wiffle hen a magic chicken what gives you good luck to try and make it rich at the casino on Dice Island. Because that's when he met your old pal Popeye. I keeps running into magical critters like Bernice and Eugene the Jeep, a sort of hound, what can disappear from here and appear over there someplace, <laughs> and see into the future, because he comes from the fourth dimension. How come they keeps meeting this one-eyed sailor? I am guessing it must have been me, Animal Magnetism. A great Scorpions album, of course, Animal Magnetism. Uh, but boy, that was uh, tough to get through. That was tough to get through, but I did it. I read right through it. And kudos to the Boss Fight team on that copyright. You guys know I love a blurb. That's a big blurb, and that's not an easy blurb to type up, I don't think. Uh, so they did a good job right there. Got the old red background. Lemmy is laying right over there, so I'm going to do Lemmy a solid. Lemmy, this is for you. I'm going to go over here with the see you later. 
There it goes. See you later over there. And Lemmy's still leaving. He leaves. He starts hearing the crumpling of the package. I've said this before in other reviews. He always lays kind of in the eyesight. Hears that. He says, oh, I know where this is going. And he always walks away and goes lays on the step around the corner. Crazy. Those dogs are so smart. They know what's coming. Uh, but there's old castor oil right there. We got the hen. We got Eugene the Jeep. Looking really good here. Pull these guys out. All the accessories. Since Lemmy's gone, I guess I'll go the traditional see you later over there. And one for old time's sake. See you later. Frisbee style. Ooh, knocking some things down. That's the way it goes from time to time. We, we, we know how it goes. But let's take a look at here. We got two different hats here. That's interesting. Or three hats. Oh my gosh, we got a hat collection. How about that? So we got three hats here uh, for Castor Oil. We'll have to dive into that. But let's look at Eugene the Jeep, the main event player right here. Uh, named a generation of vehicles after this guy. Uh, not sure exactly what I would say he looks like. He is a very light figure. No uh, holes on the bottom. Definitely an accessory. But he's got head movement. Does have arm movement. No tail movement. Got a little purple spots in the back. Got a nice curl to the tail. I don't know if that's supposed to be his nose or his mouth or his tongue. I think that is his big nose there. Uh, little, little ears. Got the black eyes. Looks like just a nice little guy. Uh, but a definitely uh, an interesting accessory here. Very, very interesting. Does have a bow on the back right here. So, I don't know. It's Eugene the Jeep, though. And then you get the magical hen. Everybody loves a hen that's magical. Especially if you're taking it to the casino to win big. But it does look like a, a duck. But it is technically a hen, I guess. Got the big wings there. Looking like Paul McCartney and wings wings on the here. Very interesting looking wings. Got the black spots against the yellow. Got the reddish orangish color bill. The black eyes. Looks like a smiling hen. Looks like he's uh, up to good things right there. Now we get down to castor oil. And he's got three hats. So you can really choose your own hat adventure with this guy uh, and i believe yes once it, no maybe not maybe not oh no there it is the power of magnets compels us once again boss fight ingenious here i would love to see more action figure lines take this putting magnets in here so it makes the hat stay how cool is that i guess that hat's a little too heavy doing the hat check that one works out okay how about this one here uh, there you go. Not bad. I, I like the magnet idea. I think that works really, really well. Now we got three different hats here. You got uh, kind of the old school newsboy, paperboy hat here, all in gray. You got the blue one, looks almost like a cab driver type hat here, almost a sailor hat, a little bit bigger there. And then you do get a kind of a bowler hat, a top hat. And I think this is what I remember him wearing, or I remember Wimpy wearing, one or the other. I think. Did he maybe change his name from Castor Oil to Wimpy? I know there was some changing of names. Like, Bluto used to have a different name as well. Like I said, I'm just not super familiar with Castor Oil. Of course, I'll look it all up. I'll look it up as I always do. But it's very, very interesting, these hats. So I don't know if these hats depict different character versions over the years. That could be the fact. But all three very, very nice hats. You do get Castor Oil here looking like a... I don't know. It looks like a guy that would be at the casino, I guess. A guy that would be at the track, you know, betting all of his money on the horses. That's what he was doing, especially back in the day here. He's got a nice suit going on, looking really nice. Nice little tie in blue. Got a yellow belt with white, really breaking up some color there. White undershirt, black suit, like I said, white all the way down here, looking really official. Bald head, big eyes, big nose, mouth off to the side. Big old ears going on. Of course, you get head articulation side to side. Arms go all the way around. Single jointed elbows. Back and forth with the hands. No extra hands with uh, him here, so we don't have that. You get waist articulation. You do get legs that go up and down. Very, very uh, splits there. You can do that really nicely. Uh, you do get ankle, or ankle, I should say knees. How about knee articulation? Back and forth, single jointed. And then you do get the uh, feet a little bit side to side. No real up and down there. Very, very small figure here. These are about four inch toy lines, something like that. So he is pretty small, but he does look okay. But I got to say out of all four of these figures, I would say least amount of uh, awareness of this character. I don't think a lot of people remember Castor Oil compared to the Bluto, Olive Oil, and uh, Popeye. I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, me personally, I would have rather had Wimpy, but from my memory, it's been a long time since I watched Popeye. He looks like Wimpy. So uh, I don't know. He just needs a hamburger, and then he'd really officially be wimpy. But I like the idea of the different hats. I think that's for the different incarnations, probably how he's been drawn over the years. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, we can't put him on a ringside stand because he doesn't have holes on his feet, so he's not going to stand. And it looks like he's going to really fight standing. And He's got a weird angle to his boot there. The toes are up, but he doesn't have toe articulation. So he might be a tough one to get to stand, but I did get him to 
kind of with a little splits action there, stand right there. So there's old Castrol. Now we turn our attention to the main event, one I've been very excited for. Bluto, of course, the main antagonist with Popeye. Very, very cool. Happy to have him here. I should grab olive oil. Put olive oil by her brother. Uh, boy, they must have had different parents somewhere along the way, because how come olive oil is so tall and skinny and Castro is so uh, little and troll-like? I, I don't know what's going on there. But Bluto, a big, big deal. Of course, you can't have a show without some kind of antagonist. You have to have something going on, some kind of way to move the story. And Bluto, of course, always trying to steal olive oil from Popeye. Oh, just like He-Man, Skeletor, Popeye, and Bluto, uh, Flint, and Cobra Commander. There's a lot of villains, and, and you got to have a hero against them. But Bluto feels way different than everybody else. This is a brick of a package. This is very, very heavy. Very, very cool at the same time. You get Bluto, Popeye. There's the old artwork there. This is very classic Bluto artwork. Uh, but boy, this one looks really good. And like I said, this is the one outside of Popeye or with Popeye I was most excited about uh, getting these ones here. But you got the cross sell. You got a little of that. Oh, we better read the blurb. Let's see what it says about old Bluto. This should be a fun one right here. A page from Popeye's journal. I first met Bluto the Terrible when I was looking for the 8th Sea. The swab boarded me ship and said he was gonna kill me at dawn. But in the end, it was me who knocked the stuffing out of him. Oh, Popeye. Now I can't get rid of rid o the big brute on account o he wants to take me sweetie patootie olive oil away from me. Well, all I can say is he must like having the stuffing knocked out of him because that's what's keep happening arf arf. Wow, wow, that's some deep, deep love from Popeye. He's just going to keep fighting old Bluto. Uh, Bluto, once uh, you know Popeye gets that spinach, it's trouble. See you later, goodbye. Man, three plastic prisons on this one. He's a big boy. He is a big, big boy. Got extra hands with him. Uh-oh, going to have to get the scissors out. He is taped in here. Makes sense. Tape. There it is, plastic prison for the hands. He's got fists of fury. He's got two massive, massive fists. Uh, makes sense for Bluto. If him and Popeye are going to square off, and that's what they're going to do on my shelf, he's got to have the fist ready to go. See you later. And then he does have two open hands here that are kind of slapping hands, handing out hands, whatever you want to call them. Big, big hands for Bluto, which makes all the sense in the world. No other extra accessories here. We'll pull them out of that. There it is. See you later. And see you later once again. And uh, we're off to the races here. Now, he does have one accessory, of course, a hat, a blue sea hat as well. All the rage back in the day, these sea hats. I have a hat just like this. It's a captain's hat. I wear it, though, on the golf course. Yes, I'm the captain of the golf course. So whenever I have work functions where I have to golf and who's, who's fooling who, I'm not going to a golf course unless I have to for work. It's just not my scene. It's too quiet. Too quiet. I like loud sports. Uh, and I don't like race car driving, so I don't know if that makes sense either. But I like uh, my my sports a little bit louder than golf. I think that's a, a fair assessment. But uh, this hat as well fits on him. I don't know if it uses the power of magnets, though. He's got hair in here. I don't think it does. I don't think there is magnets here. I don't know. I don't feel any uh, Mr. Wizard magnetism there. But maybe, maybe. But he does have hair. So the other ones are all have like kind of a balder head. So the magnets really do work. Bluto, not so much. He has a nice sculpted spiky hair going on. Looks really, really good. Then you got the big bushy beard. That looks nice. Big, big smile on Bluto. That looks really, really good. Big nose on him. Eyes closed. He's kind of giving one of those going on. Looks really, really nice. Uh, very, very big figure. Like I said, this guy feels like a rock. I would say he weighs more than the entire set combined. Very, very heavy figure. Talk about a big paperweight is what he feels like. Very cool. He's got a nice polo shirt in black. Got the yellow buttons going on. I uh, got the black sleeves there. And then he's got his undershirt there. It's a, a brownish color. Of course, got the big old hands. We already talked about the hands. Looking really nice. He's got a blue belt with yellow belt buckle. Really breaks up the monotony of the color. Nice mustard style colored pants. Then brown shoes. Has that same arch we saw on castor oil on the shoes as well. Very, very cool. But of course, head articulation goes all the way around, up and down. Plenty of articulation on the head. Arms go all the way around. We do got side to side at the elbows, up and down, single jointed elbows. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands removable, of course. Waist articulation. He can do those big old Bluto splits if he needs to. Look at that. He's a gymnast at the end of the day. Single jointed knees and then ankles back and forth. Uh, not really side up and down, but back and forth for sure. Uh, but definitely, definitely Bluto. I think if anybody showed me this, especially when you add the hat to him, you know exactly who this is. You know this is Bluto. 
at the end of the day. And I love this one because he is so big. He's just a large, large figure, especially compared to the rest of the line. Of course, I do have Popeye right here. I am what I am, as he would say. And you got these guys side by side. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is this set here? And then you get all four of them together. You get castor oil. You get olive oil added to the scene. We'll give him this hat. And what do you know? What do you know? What about Sweet Pea? I can't forget old Sweet Pea. Got Sweet Pea right here. We're just building out the whole team. You got Eugene and the Hen. And man, oh man, there is Popeye. I don't know if there's going to be a Series 2. Are they going to go deep into it? Do we need Wimpy? I think we do. Uh, there's always some other ancillary ones. What is it? The Sea Hag, I think, was another one. Uh, there's a few we could probably get if they want to add more to this line. But if this is where the line stops, I'm okay with it too because this is kind of a moment in time. I'm going to have this on a shelf. I'll probably have it with Ren and Stimpy, maybe Alf, maybe some Simpsons figures. Who knows? Just kind of an animated shelf, one of those floating shelves that floats around in the collection. But I really, really do like what I see here. I do feel these are really, really nice, especially the Bluto and the Popeye. If you're only buying two, I think that's the two to get. But like I said, I can see some people just buying Popeye just to have representation in the collection. But a very, very cool set. Like I said, DJC collectibles. You can pick these up right now. Uh, use the discount code 8 off DJC. Get these shipped to you because, man, everybody needs a little Popeye in their collection. Or at least Eugene the Jeep. There you go. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up these Popeye figures, playing the long game, passing? Didn't even know these figures existed? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course you made it this far. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Remember the Patreon where you can get early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, giveaways, you name it. A lot going on in the old Patreon channel. And then don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Popeye, the Boss Fight Classics, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.